So we cut out some foam board, kind of etched in like a little design in there. Made it an arch door, even though we don't have an arch door, but I've always wanted an arch door. And painted it, didn't come out too great on the painting. It did kind of buckle a little bit. And then I had these stickers from Dollar Tree and these little like, I don't know what they are, but it was from Dollar Tree also. It came with, let's see here, it was like a little pack of these. And so I cut one of the, I was actually gonna use this to put on there and make it like a Spanish looking door, but I cut it in half. So I'm just gonna glue them on there as like the hinges. So it's like a foam sheet. So I don't know, I guess you could buy a gazillion of them and then put it as like a back splash or according to this picture on your entire wall. So you'd have to buy like a gazillion. So I already cut it, started cutting it up because this is gonna be our fireplace. I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the brick. It's foamy, so it's all squishy. And then so it's easy to cut. And again, I'm just trying to resemble our fireplace from the house, so there you go. And I'm just gonna kind of stack them up and make them as tall as I need and all that good stuff. So that was awesome. So I just kind of measured about, eyeballed it about how much I'm gonna need. And yay, that was so awesome, I found that. And I'm gonna use this um, backsplash wall sticker for the fireplace, I don't know, what is that? The base, the bottom of the fireplace, like in the front. So I already cut a little piece out. I'm gonna pick out a couple of other ones that are similar. And then I could just save all this for like other things, countertops, I don't know, all kinds of goodies. I didn't have this out, um, our little napkin holder. Try to make one to match ours. Uh, just made it out of, um, I don't know, recycled some cardboard box, some cereal box or something. Cut up some little napkin. Well, actually, one barely even use a whole napkin to put some in there. And yeah, so I just painted it brown to match ours. For the sofas, so the little pillows, the brown ones I made, they're not the best, but you know, not much at sewing, but they came out pretty decent. So the little sofas are actually, they're jewelry boxes. Store little items in there. So they're all jewelry boxes. See? But it's kind of cool because then I can store some of the little goodies in there. Like I think this one stored some, yeah I have the little remote controls for my kiddos because they as well as I and hubby are into video games well they're definitely into it more than I am but somehow I got into it as well especially with Animal Crossing I don't have a TV yet I'm in the process of making one a little out of foam so then they'll have a TV to play video games on <laughs> So this is my kitchen that I have for Barbie. I should have showed you what it looked like originally when I bought it. Um, it's not actually Barbie brand, but most of the doors, everything was pink. Well, not everything, but like the doors were pink and then the handles on the appliances were pink. So I spray painted most of it white, painted these um, with some silver, you know, acrylic paint. But 
Since my goal is to kind of make our kitchen, my little Barbie kitchen, similar to our real kitchen, I needed to move around the top cabinets, so I wanted to cut them, and I had no idea how. I am not handy at all whatsoever. And so I asked my brother, he's very handy, what he suggested, and it was to cut the tops, which is what I wanted to do, with, um, I asked him if that was even possible, which I figured it was because I did see other people with the same kitchen that had done that. So that's what triggered the idea of cutting it myself. So my brother suggested to use this little handy tool. I got this on Amazon because we, we're not a very handy family, so we don't really own too many tools. Uh, wish it was pink, that would have been super cute. So, I don't know, it was like $8. It was like the cheapest one I can find. Um, they have other ones that are way better, but this has been working pretty good. Obviously, I just cut this one. I just did it right now, which is where there's like little stuff all over the little rug. And so now I just need to sand it. I was so nervous doing it, you guys don't even know. And one of my kiddos was helping me with it too. I put masking tape just to kind of, um, per my brother's suggestion, to kind of follow the line so I wouldn't like go like all over the place, which is something I would totally do. And so now I'm gonna do the same with these. I'm still, I'm super excited, but I need to like relax because I just start cutting stuff and then it's like, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut this off as well because then I'll just be reusing this in another part of the kitchen. I'm gonna be flipping this stuff around. This is what it looks like normally. So it's just kinda, just that hard plastic. So it's not like I could click it off or anything. I want to put the microwave over the stove not sure, I'm still debating where I'm gonna cut it because it would be nice to still have like a little backsplash because I'll probably be decorating that as well so it's not just plain white. Although here's like the oven vent thing <clears throat> that most kitchens have, can you see that? So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that or if I'm gonna use this cabinet, will it look weird having the little vent thing underneath even though there's no there's not going to be a stove under there it's a really cute kitchen i love it it's it's super fun and it looks pretty realistic so that's one of my little crafty things i'm doing right now with my little project i did it i did it i did it i did i was so nervous i was holding my breath the entire time i was cutting because and okay yeah it's not perfect so and that's okay, it's my first try. I'm pretty proud of myself. And I had the wonderful help of my kiddos. So yeah, it's a little crooked. I used tape, but you know, this one came out pretty decent, my first one. And now I just need to sand it. Um, Cause you can see it's all like funny. So one of my kiddos has some sandpaper from a class he used to take. So I'll see if that works, but I did it. Um, this is kind of how they were. I'm gonna be moving things around. So, let's see, this is gonna go there. There's nothing gonna be on top of these two. Here we go. Got a lot of stuff to vacuum up. So it's gonna be kind of like this. So I'm going to figure out how I'm actually going to glue these and then decorate this part and all that good stuff. And then there's nothing gonna be there's going to be nothing above the sink or the dishwasher um, because I'm hoping to put a window. Because again, I'm trying to make it look like our kitchen. And then this cabinet is just gonna be like somewhere else in the kitchen. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this or if I'm gonna cut that as well. So we'll see, still debatable. But I did, I'm so proud of myself. Oh yeah, and then this also will probably be just somewhere else in the kitchen extra little piece, I might save it. I don't know, maybe I'll need it for some other part. We'll see. And thank you again to my brother for helping me and suggesting what tool to get and being my little motivator and cheerleader. <laughs>